Hi everybody and welcome to this week's Triple Crown Vidcast brought to you by Twinspires.com. So using the Twinspires race replay feature, we're going to have a look at the Gotham from Aqueduct, the major Triple Crown prep of last weekend. Keep your eyes here uh, on a stall in the middle. I believe it's stall number five. Yep, there it is. Stay Thirsty, the big favorite in this race, bumps into the side of the gate upon the start. The kind of thing that uh, would have lit up or really bothered a less classy animal. But this guy and his cool as the other side of the pillow jockey Ramon Dominguez end up in a pretty good spot. Had to check off heels there it looked like just for one second but still a rider doesn't lose cool, horse doesn't lose cool. His main rival, Toby's Corner, actually broke ahead of Stay Thirsty but was wrangled back to be behind him. Now Rating tactics worked really well for Toby's Corner in his last start, which featured a fast pace. But this race, which features what could probably best be described as a dawdling pace, the wrangling back doesn't work out so well for Toby's Corner. Meanwhile, back to the action here. We can see Stay Thirsty in a, in, still in a, in a pretty perfect spot. Four lengths off, the obvious speed in the race, the Fed eased, and a big long shot whose name I just love to say, even though I'm not sure I'm pronouncing it correctly, Norman as Bjornsson. Uh, so Norman as Bjornsson is there, tracking the Fed East. And meanwhile, just a couple lengths off the pace, on his own courage, and then uh, at the insistence of his rider, Stay Thirsty makes his move to the lead. Meanwhile, Toby's Corner uh, launches into a furious bid, perhaps realizing, uh, perhaps the jock realizing he was a bit too far back. So he's getting into him real seriously. Toby shows his class by attempting to close here. Uh, up front, Stay Thirsty makes the lead, maybe just kind of the tiniest little bit, gets in front of Norm as it, Norman as Bjornsson, whose rider actually claimed foul, but it, watching the replay, especially the head-on, the horse is, he's clear, and also the jockey, importantly, has the whip on the correct side to attempt to keep the horse straight, which almost leads me to a story about the big cap, but I'll save that for another time, because I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to curse on here. But, uh, so in the end, what we have is a real nice effort by Stay Thirsty. This is a horse who I really doubt was fully fit for the race. 80% um, I would almost guess, simply because Todd Pletcher knows he's good and has a target a few weeks out. So uh, I I'm sure there's more to find in this horse. The speed figure he runs, while nothing um, eye-popping, is just about equal to his top that he ran as a two-year-old. And any form cycle analyst will tell you that very often when they run near to the top that they ran at two in their first start at three, the next time there could be big improvement. Couple that with his breeding, and I think you have a major triple crown player here. As for Toby's corner, who I had touted after his nice win last time in this very uh, vidcast, I'm not ready to give up yet. Yes, if he were ready to be grade one right now, he obviously would have at least finished second ahead of Norman S. Bjornsson. However, it's also possible that he is still improving and that this effort just isn't as bad as it looked, given the fact that he was kind of wrangled back off of slow fractions. So both of the two in here, um, who were bet like it was a two-horse race and who ended up running 1-3, I think could be heard from as the Triple Crown Trail makes it along its way. Anyway, I'm Peter Thomas Fornatel. Thanks for joining me this week. Check back on Twinspires.com and also the Twinspires.com blog page for all your racing news, analysis, and video needs. If you want to check in with me, there's always my blog, www.unbearablebetting.com, and I'll see you next week.